I'm Will Beaton, meteorologist for SurfMuskegon.com. I'm with Pat Driscoll, marketing director for Summer Celebration. Pat, it's uh, the weekend. It's a great day down here. Uh, what's your favorite event? Well, I'll tell you, everything that goes on at Summer Celebration is my favorite. It's, uh, it's pretty tough to beat the experience that you have all the way around with, uh, with Summer Celebration. We've got something for everybody here. Uh, no matter who it is in the family, they're going to find something. They're all my favorites. Okay. And how long you been down here? This is my eighth show, uh, eight years. So the event uh, came in here, and, and uh, they had a, a sponsorship program in place, and they decided they wanted to elevate it into something new and bigger, and, and so that's what we've been working on for the last eight years. Super. And this is a very fun event for the whole community. Uh, got a lot of things going on this week. Uh, what are some of the highlights for this site? Well, let's run down. Uh, Tuesday, we have the Country Fresh Senior Social coming up. That's in Hackley Park. Goes on all day Tuesday. Uh, very small. Uh, entry fee, I believe it's a dollar, uh, yeah. but there's a, there's a beautiful ice cream social the Country Fresh puts on. There's a ton of different activities, including big band dancing and, and all kinds of different things to go on for uh, the seniors in the community. Uh, we've got uh, on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have what uh, is, uh, has become quite a tradition for our event, and that's, uh, first of all, the uh, Comerica Village Craft Market, the Meyer Art in the Park, and the Ad ADAC Automotive uh, uh, Michigan Marketplace and talk a little bit about each one of those. Uh, the Comerica Village Craft Market will close all of the streets between Heritage Landing and Hackley Park and all of those streets are juried fine crafters. Uh, a couple hundred crafters that uh, folks can come in and check out the wares of those crafters and take home some really beautiful stuff. Up in uh, Hackley Park we have the Meyer Art and Park. That's a juried fine art show. Again, artists from all over the Midwest will be there displaying their wares. Something that's really interesting that we're doing in conjunction with Art in the Park this year is a, a partnership with the Muskegon Museum of Arts. Uh, it's uh, the uh, ITC Holdings uh, Muskegon Art Experience is what we're calling it. You can check out Art in the Park. You can also check out the media of Muskegon Museum of Art uh, regional exhibit. We're one of the few museums in the nation that even does a regional exhibit, and we're the oldest in the nation. Thanks, Pat, for the great information about this week. Activities going on. Uh, going to take a look at the week weather and it's looking like there's going to be some changes. It's going to start off really cold at the first part of the week. Uh, not any more uh, high 70s, more like the upper 60s. Uh, I don't even think we'll get out of the 60s on Monday. Uh, some partly cloudy conditions and some sunshine at the beginning of the week. But as we head towards the middle of the week on Wednesday, I see some clouds coming in and a chance of a shower. That's the leading edge of some uh, warmer weather as we're going to go back up to the upper 70s and perhaps 80 near the middle of the week. And going into Thursday, uh, some chance of showers and thunder showers on Thursday near the tail end of the week. And then uh, by Thursday night, I think things will calm down, uh, be mild temperatures, but the thunder showers should come to an end. This has been Will Beaton, meteorologist for SurfMuskegon.com.